this case IT 9832, I, the prosecutor, versus or against Mitar Vasilyevich. Uh, Joanna Corner, I represent uh, the prosecution with the assistance of co-counsel Na Ms. Nancy Patterson and case manager Diane Bowles. Microphone, Your Honor. Microphone for the judge, please. Slavni Sude. Your Honor, I'm Slavisha Prodonovic. I am legal counsel today for the accused Vasiljevic. A chance to discuss uh, this matter with your client yet? Yes, Your Honor. I did have an opportunity of discussing it with my client yesterday and today, and he is aware of the procedure. And uh, is he aware of uh, the nature of the allegations made against him? Yes, Your Honor. Yes, he is aware, and he is also aware of the plea he is supposed to enter. And we wished to suggest to the court not to have the factual part of the indictment read, only to have the accused enter his pleas. Grateful to uh, hear that. Uh, but he is ready to enter a plea today, is he? Yes, Your Honor, yes. Thank you. Well, before uh, we uh, actually take the pleas, I should ask the accused, are you able to hear the proceedings in a language which you understand? Are you able to hear the proceedings in a language which you understand? Yes. What is your full name? Mitar Vasilievich. Mitar Vasilievich. And uh, what is the date upon which you believe you were born? The 25th of August 1954. And uh, what is the address at which you resided before you were uh, arrested? Vojvode Stepe, 140, Visegrad. Uh, and you are now ready to enter pleas to the charges against you in the indictment? Yes. Uh, well, I propose to read out to you just the charge, and then I will ask you uh, how do you plead to that charge, guilty or not guilty. Your answer in each case should be guilty or not guilty, as the case may be. The first count against you is uh, a charge of extermination being a crime against humanity. Uh, do you, how do you plead, guilty or not guilty? Not guilty. Uh, the second count is a charge of persecution on political, racial, and religious grounds uh, as a crime against humanity. How do you plead, guilty or not guilty? Not guilty. The third count is a charge of murder uh, being a crime against humanity. How do you plead, guilty or not guilty? Not guilty. Fourth count uh, is a, another charge of murder as a violation of the laws or customs of war. Do you plead guilty or not guilty? Not guilty. The fifth count is a charge of inhumane acts being a crime against humanity. Uh, how do you plead guilty or not guilty? Not guilty. The uh, sixth count is a charge of violence to life and person uh, being a violation of the laws or customs of war. How do you plead guilty or not guilty? Yes, thank you. Not guilty. The uh, seventh count is a charge of murder uh, being a crime against humanity. How do you plead guilty or not guilty? 
Yes, thank you. Not guilty. The eighth count is a, another charge of murder being a violation of the laws or customs of war. Do you plead guilty or not guilty? Yes, thank you. Not guilty. The uh, ninth count is a charge of inhumane acts being a crime against humanity. Do you plead guilty or not guilty? Yes, thank you. Not guilty. The uh, tenth count is a charge of violence to life and person being a violation of the laws or customs of war. Do you plead guilty or not guilty? Yes, thank you. Not guilty. The eleventh count is a charge of murder being a crime against humanity. Do you plead guilty or not guilty? Yes, thank you. Not guilty. The twelfth count is a charge of murder being a violation of the laws or customs of war. Uh, do you plead guilty or not guilty? Yes, thank you. Not guilty. The thirteenth count is a charge of inhumane acts being a crime against humanity. Do you plead guilty or not guilty? Yes, thank you. Not guilty. And the fourteenth and final count is a charge of violence to life and person uh, being a violation of the laws and customs of war. Do you plead guilty or not guilty? Yes, thank you. Not guilty. Please, sir. Uh, the uh, uh, registrar will be instructed to uh, fix a date for trial when appropriate. And the accused is remanded in custody until further order. Is there any matter which the prosecution wishes to raise at this stage, Ms. Corley? Your Honour, just to say this, we are in a position to make um, immediate disclosure of the Rule 47 supporting material, both in English and in um, BCS. But as I understand the matter, um, Defence Counsel will not be instructed or may not be instructed um, by, by his client, and so it may well be that um, for the moment we'd better, as it were, hang on to it. All right, then. Thank you very much. And can I just mention one other matter? <laughs> yes. Your, Your Honour, we, we um, filed a motion for protective measures. Um, we were unaware at the time that we filed the motion that Your Honour had issued a scheduling order in respect of another matter of which Your Honour is seized, effectively asking for clarification of the order uh, that was dealt with in that case, and so we will um, re-examine the motion that we filed in the light of the order that Your Honour has made. Well, I'm grateful to that. There is another matter which uh, you should consider, and that is the definition of the public includes uh, various persons other than the judges of the tribunal and the staff of the registry. Now, that uh, may be uh, interpreted uh, as, a, as, as a term of art, which means those people who work in the registry, rather than the staff of the registrar, who also work in chambers. So at the moment you are denying us the opportunity of showing our own legal officers and secretaries um, the material that uh, we have to deal with. Uh, Your Honour, I'm very grateful for that. Uh, we will reconsider that matter as yes. well. Yes, this is a, a new form, this one, so far as I'm aware, and uh, it does need a little bit of cleaning up, I think. Your Honour, I'll um, make sure that uh, the appropriate steps are taken. Thank you. Mr. Brodanovich, do you want to raise any matter at this stage? <coughs> I have nothing special to add, Your Honor. It is true that I shall no longer appear as defense counsel in this case because I'm busy with another case. However, the accused is quickly going to find a new attorney and all communication will go through him. Thank you. Well, I'm grateful to you for telling us this. You might uh, enforce uh, this with your client, however, that the sooner he does obtain defence counsel, the sooner he will find out what this is all about by the material which the prosecution will provide. Um, 
it is necessary, of course, uh, to notify the uh, registry or the Defence Council unit anyway, so that the prosecution are aware of to whom the material should be sent. So will you uh, <coughs> make sure before you leave the case that you uh, explain to your client, your current client, uh, the importance of moving quickly. Well, that's all. We'll adjourn. Rice for you, Fulvie.